Yo, what is up guys? I'm here hitting up with a new video. So today I will do a follow-up video to that four day progression video from a couple of weeks ago. We are already a month into solo leveling's global launch life cycle. And so I wanted to show you from a free to play progression standpoint where we are at after a month, where you should be at if you are maybe above or below that. So something to give you a benchmark in this game. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I basically upload every single day. And now that we are here, let's take a look real quick at where we are CP-wise. So we are currently at 260k combat power. Now, some of you might think, wow, 260,000 combat power, free to play. I'm currently at like 200k or something like that. And then there's the other side, like only 260k. CPU Lula, I'm at 300k. There's always one or the other side, but just to give you a reference point, if you know what you're doing, where you can land up basically after 30 days of playing this game. And also if we look at the Hunters, so the focus was mainly on Char Seo. So we have the Min, we have the Seo, and obviously we got the Alice as well. To a2 where she starts to shine really with her weapon at ascension 2 and charles weapon also at ascension 2 and then we have the weapon didn't put any uh upgrades in there just to have the weapon there and saving up currently our resources and we also have ammo with her weapon when we look at the content let's let's check out the army of shadows real quick so we have Agris, Blades and Iron. I think this is actually the best option to go for if you are scarce on Traces of Shadows. Skip Tank for now, go for Iron. Iron has actually more utility than Tank. Like Tank is very, very niche when you need a stun. But the good thing about Iron is he provides you also a 15% defense break, which is fairly nice also when you use Hunters, for example, in reverse mode. Now, if we take a look at the game modes, so story-wise, we got up to chapter 17. We are currently capped on the normal mode. We cannot progress unless we reach level 66 right now. And for the hard mode, we are currently stuck at chapter 13 hard mode. I am not sure if we can... Oh yeah, we are also capped here, so we cannot progress here any further anymore. And then we have the reverse mode where we are currently at chapter 10 one stage before the main boss with the bear like the big big old damage check big bear also guys let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a dedicated video about the chapter 10 boss bear floor being in the red cp how to de defeat them if we can get this video to 50 likes i will make a video so i know that you are actually interested in seeing this kind of video and also let me know where are you currently struggling in the game. Now here is the interesting part. If we look at the current weapons, we beat literally all content just with two weapons and that was the Ascension 5 Scythe and a 2 Plum. I just upgraded the Fetal Scrimmer to level 60. It was at level 20 right now and also Wind West Wind we didn't really use that much. But we worked our way through all the content with just scythe and plum letting you know that you don't need that many different weapons to beat content just two weapons is already enough and these are the current um, hunter weapons we have also if we look at on commissions we are able to farm tier 10 cerberus fairly consistently and we can also farm the spider tier 10 fairly consistently and as well when it comes to the instance dungeon we can farm both the lichens and Igris both at tier 10. After just one month of playing, being completely free to play, we are able to farm both these dungeons at their highest difficulty, just with having the right pieces uh, equipped and knowing what you need to do in this game. Then let's take a look at Jinwoo real quick. He's now at 90k uh, total power with an uh, attack power of 13k. Little bit of stat. And we could put everything into strength, really. Perception doesn't really matter too much. We could everything put everything in there. But also, since we don't have much uh, gold right now, we will not reset our stat points. When it comes to gear right now, uh, Jin Wu is on a, currently on a full destroyer set with a beast set. As you see, there's nothing at plus 20 yet. Yes, you, you might be thinking, oh, well, why is it not toughness? Very simple. We don't have a proper toughness set for Jin Wu. That's why we have a destroyer set 
which has decent substats which we can use currently with Jin Wu. And once we get the right set for him, we will switch the set. In the meantime, we also have Cha and Alicia. And that's why for Cha, for example, we are running a two-piece set of Toughness and two-piece set of Black Lion. Currently, the idea is usually we want to have the full sets, right? But the issue as of right now is simple. RNG, we only played for 30 days, right? It's not like early access we, where we already played for 75, 80 plus days. That's why we are lacking currently the daily grind to have these piece, uh, the gear pieces. So if you're very lucky, you can have the craziest sets already. But if you don't, aren't that lucky, it takes you a little bit more time. Now that we covered that, we also have the Battlefield of Chaos. For the Battlefield of Chaos, we are able to farm every uh, Battlefield of Chaos floor till rank 4, 5, I mean, or tier 5, however you want to call it. It's completely fine because the drop rate for these gemstones are complete as anyways. The only thing that really changes when you go to the higher difficulties is that you get more gem pieces drops, which allow you then to go to fusion and use them for higher rarities. Let's see what's going to come in here. Additional defense. And then in the meantime, if we now go to the gem system, let's take a look here as well. We equipped all the slots and since we just got a new piece, let me check that real quick. So we have additional defense here, additional defense. Let's switch this up real quick to get a little bit of extra stats. So we unlocked here everything. And currently when it comes to the standard banner, we have 54 black tickets right now with our uh, wishlist being Seo, the Grim, the Huntsman and Bora because the Bora is not on the account yet. She's a nice addition as well as Bike would be also a nice addition. But we also wanna dupe Seo up prior to being even more powerful. And the Grim, having, her, uh, having the Grim at A1 is good and Huntsman obviously for the break. But nonetheless, the reason uh, what we are doing right now or what, what our plan is from a free to play perspective is we are not using our black tickets right now. Reason being is we are currently waiting for Cha to drop on the standard banner. That is the plan. So once Cha drops on the standard banner, she will be added to the wish list. So then we have chances of duping up Cha because Cha is right now at A3 and we want to get her to A5. But this is the reason, saving up black tickets right now. So once Cha drops, we can put her into the wish list, and then that makes our black tickets even more valuable because we have more pulls or more options or better options which we can draw from. So last but not least, we also have the power of destruction mode where we are currently ranked 12. We can easily, so if you look at the team, 60 million, 26, we can improve on team two. Uh, we can easily hit, hit top 10 with the right strategy and everything with a little bit of adjustments uh, we can at least get 40 million more can get like 110 mil and that's like enough to get in the top 10 uh, leaderboard for power of destruction and yeah just wanted to make a quick showcase on 30 day completely free to play progression when it comes to solo living rise what kind of comic power you can expect after 30 days you can be below that you can be above that really depends on you giving you a rough average when you know what you're doing and as you saw with the weapons just two weapons were completely enough to push all the content to everything which you needed to achieve up to the point where it's only just a level cap where you have to wait for the next uh, just a cp increase where you need to enhance your gear even further to progress with the content and as you saw the still the biggest bo bottleneck in the game for free to play players is gold so thanks guys for watching see you with the next one deuces